I'm Ben Stockwell. Today, I'm joined by Rob Dow from the UVM Men's Soccer Program, who was selected first in this year's Men's Soccer Preseason Poll. Rob, what are your initial thoughts on being picked first this year after another strong you know, performance last year in the NCAAs? Yeah, we were certainly humbled uh, by this news that our peers have shown that acknowledgement towards our program. Also a little surprised, you know, and uh, how we finished in the league last year and, and early departure in playoffs. But, you know, it's something that uh, we'll, we'll take with some humility, but uh, certainly proud of the program where we are right now. Your team is well represented on the preseason all-conference team. I know you're early on in camp right now, but how is having, you know, a, a lot of returners who've played significant roles helpful in just getting camp going and getting to where you want to be throughout the beginning of this preseason? Yeah, we just finished session one, day one. And uh, this afternoon we'll get into our second one. I'll have a little better idea. But on paper, we have we have some really good experience in Zach Barrett and Max Murray and uh, Yanni Bizzini. Um, all these guys had, you know, had great summers. But their leadership is special, and you know we all know that's an important part of the equation towards championships, and we're excited they're back. American East men's soccer as a whole really been on the rise. Last year finishes the sixth best conference in the nation, according to RPI. What is it like now playing in this conference, knowing that, especially in conference play, each game you could you know win, draw, and not get the result you want, and you have to be prepared for that? I mean, you look what Bryant did last season and the reputation of UNH. and. Um, the, the pedigree of Albany and, um, you know, and, and where UMBC now is and NGIT, um, it's going to be as strong as ever. And, um, that's what the league needs. You know, I think every head coach in the conference has the experience and the skill sets to, to take care of business at a conference, to be in the best position, to have the most competitive conference play. Um, we know it's no easy task here at, to get into late September. Um, it never has been, but this year I think it's going to be a special one. Given the strength of the league, how have you managed your scheduling and your non-conference slate? So you're in a position where, you know, like what happened last year, you didn't win the league, but you still made the conference tournament or the NCAA tournament as an at-large. You know, you try to look at uh, multiple years of success and Western Michigan certainly is, is this one. We open up with, with them like we did last year, but we're at their place. And um, and then we go out west to make a statement in a different region, you know. Uh, but those two, when you play, you know, nationally ranked programs and you establish yourself in, in your reputation and show that you can compete nationwide, I think makes, makes an important statement to the NCAA selection committee. You know, all these other things that we got to trend in the right direction and, we got to win games and you know be considered one of the one of the top programs at the end of the season, you know, as part of the mission. But by design, I think we have a schedule where if we do take care of business, we can position ourselves like we did last year. For your program, what positives have you seen from having Vermont Green at Virtue Field each of the past mm. two summers? It's been awesome to to be on the other side of the stands and watch our players and Nick Unive and Nick Walkerman and, you know, and watch their open cup as well. Like there's, it's you know, five players, I think playing in that game. It's, it's awesome. My son and I go to every match and he's running up and down the stands going to Ben and Jerry's probably four or five times. It's a free ice cream. You know? <laughs> so, um, but they, they've captured, you know, the soccer market and and what a better no better time to, to do that you know with the u.s hosting um copa america the world cup coming up um there's a buzz in burlington with soccer and as i'm sure is the rest of the country but it was fun to fun to be around the, this summer rob well good luck with training camp here uh, and the start of the season just you know two three weeks away yeah much appreciated it's good to see you we're excited to get into conference play in September.